welcome to my channel. I am Sarah Jane and this is my channel, Safali Jane 23 If you are wondering, Sarah Jane, where have your videos been, girl? Trust me, I know. I was in the field doing army things. It was terrible. No phone, no showers, no anything for 28 days. It's finally over. I'm glad it's finally over. Thank God. If you can hear the washing machine in the background, I'm really sorry. So I wanted to get a video up ASAP because I know it's been a while since I've uploaded because I didn't have the opportunity to. And I thought something that would be really fun is my camera collection that I have. This is in no way a bragging video. Photos and photography are just a really big hobby of mine, something that I really enjoy. So I just wanted to share that with you guys in case that's something you guys are interested in. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my other social media if you want to hear more from me. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Also, let me know if you guys can tell an audio difference in this video because I got a new shock mic mount. Super excited about it. Let me know if the audio sounds better in the comments below. So just to start off, I have two different bag options that I usually carry around. One is my first camera bag that I ever had, and this other one is like a backpack. The first one is one that I usually take around with me more. It's smaller, it's more compact, usually like a daytime trip. If I'm actually traveling someplace really far, that's when I usually take the backpack with me. This first camera is the EOS Rebel T3i. It's the first ever DSLR camera I ever owned. Um, it was really popular at the time. A lot of YouTubers were using it. This is the most recent camera I've been using. This is the Canon EOS 70D. On top you'll see the Shure mic mount. I like it because it also has the flip out screen so that I can watch myself as I'm filming. This camera is so much better than the previous one that I just showed you because it actually has the autofocus when you are filming, which the Canon Rebel T3 I did not. So here are the lenses that I use. I am really particular. I really prefer the red label lenses. They're just really sturdy. This one is probably my favorite lens. It's the one that I usually film on, 16 by 35 millimeter. It's got this lens. Uh, it's still the same one, 16 by 35, but this is the Mark II version, so I'm interested to see how these two compare. I've had this one so long, it's like my go-to lens. This one, I recently had the pleasure of working with. It is a 24 by 105. Great depth if I want to zoom in on something, which is what I really like about it. That's why it's so dirty. I took it out with me to try during the field exercise. This lens is probably one that I don't really use that much. It's the 24 by 70. It's so big, like, how far I can zoom is not even as far as this one, and it's bigger. And it's just not my go-to lens. I don't really care for the images that I capture when I use this lens. I can honestly say, I never reach for this thing. These are the 70 by 200 milliliter. Absolutely love this lens. These are amazing lenses because they make the background just look so blurry and awesome and they can just zoom out so far. Um, one just has a ring mount and the other doesn't. Uh, but yeah, this and this are my two favorite lenses. Like, absolutely love those lenses. They were amazing. I do mostly stick to red label lenses, which if you look here, I see how it's red color. Those mean that they're red label lenses. I stick to red label lenses just because I find them to be really durable and they can keep up with like how tough I am with my equipment. But yeah, that's kind of my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do have a drone. I'm not going to show in this video. It's a DJI Phantom 4. If that's something that you guys were curious about, how I get my aerial footage, I do use that drone. Fantastic drone. I freaking love it. Like. If you are looking for a drone in the market, that's the drone to go for. I also do use a point and shoot. I have the Canon G7X. I think they came out with a Mark II version. I still have the Mark I, so it's a little bit slower autofocusing, but great point and shoot. I if you're really good trying to get into cameras, I totally recommend this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in another one.